What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video today. Today I'm going to do a top five video. I have not done a top five video in a very, very long time. So I'm excited to kind of bring it back. So today I'm going to cover my top five favorite marine angel fish. So let's imagine money wasn't an issue and you had, you know, any size tank you want. So let's say that you had the biggest tank ever. What would be your top five uh, angel fish for a reef tank? So I'm going to give you guys my top five. Uh, again, Everyone's opinion is going to be different. So I'm going to start with number five, and the number five fish goes to the Koran angelfish. Now this angelfish goes through phases. So as a juvenile, it starts with a black, white, and blue stripe pattern that looks absolutely amazing. As it gets older, that stripe pattern kind of fades away, and it kind of retains a different blue and kind of light yellow um, body to it. Um, as a juvenile, it's absolutely, absolutely stunning. The fish grows over a foot long and is considered one of the hardiest angelfish out of the list that I have. All right, so moving on to number four. Number four goes to the queen angelfish. Now, like the Koran angelfish, it also goes through phases. Now, this phase is slightly different. As a juvenile, this fish is more blue slash yellow. And as it gets older, the body is mainly yellow and the tips of the fins are blue. Now, out of all the angelfish that I have on the list, this angelfish is the largest one out of all of them. This fish can get up to a foot and a half long, and so this one needs an absolutely massive tank to keep. All right, so moving on to number three. Number three goes to the blue-faced angelfish. Similar to the other previous angelfish, this fish also goes through a phase chain. Now, the pattern on this one is very similar to the Koran angelfish. The one difference is you'll notice a little bit of yellowing on the tips of the fins, and it has less white stripes uh, on the fish. But where it differs from the Koran angelfish is when it gets to the adult phase. The fish retains a very nice blue color towards the face, hence the name. Uh, but the rest of the body is more of a yellow with kind of like an accent of blue along the scales of the fish. It also has like a blue circle dot towards the end of its fin as well. Now this fish gets over a foot long and is considered a little bit more aggressive versus the other angel fish that I have on the list. All right, moving on to number two. Number two goes to the emperor angel fish. And also this fish goes through a phase change from juvenile to adult. Now as juvenile, the colors are very similar to the Koran and the blue-faced angelfish. But what differs is it has an oval pattern towards the end of the tail, and as you move closer to the face, it starts to get more stripy. As the fish grows, the pattern changes completely. The fish goes from a vertical stripe pattern to more of a horizontal stripe pattern, and it goes from a blue, black, and white color to a blue, yellow, and black fish. So this fish is very interesting because it goes from one end of the spectrum of color to the other. Now, out of all the other angelfish I've listed, this is actually considered the most aggressive angelfish. So if you are considering getting one, you may want to consider adding this fish last into your reef tank. All right, finally, we're getting to number one. Number one goes to the regal angelfish. Now, this angelfish has no phases. This angelfish is also the smallest angelfish out of all of them, only coming in at 10 inches. The yellow-orange color to this angelfish is absolutely stunning. It resonates and glows. This angelfish alone could be your centerpiece uh, for your whole tank. It's absolutely beautiful. Now, of course, with an amazing fish, there's always a con to having it. Now, this fish is considered the most picky angelfish out of all of the fish that I've listed so far. And because of that, they tend to die in captivity. But for those who can transition that fish to eating uh, flakes, pellets, or live food, this fish is a must for any reef tank. All right, guys, and that is my top five marine angelfish. Let me know what your top five angelfish is. Leave it in the comments below. If you guys are not subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe. And like always, to next time, guys, peace.